in one of the most famous scenes in British political history. Sir Leopold Amory. On May 7, 1940, after the successful invasion of Norway by Hitler's armed forces, King I, while conveying the words of Oliver Cromwell in a parliament affiliated with Charles, he was looking at the House of Commons. Prime Minister Neville told Chamberlain the following words go, I say, and we're done with you. In the name of God. Go. We must always remember that rugby is a game. And this is never that millions of people of a world war can be kept on the fight for life and death. According to the big scheme, rugby game is insignificant with World Cup tournaments that have a great passion for millions of fans. But in the words of Cliff Morgan, the Welsh wizard of rugby and publishing rugby is irrelevant. It's amazing because it has millions of people around the world. A history full great matches in kinds places and situations. Walks society and from sizes. With different abilities or talent. Every faith. Offers a game with kinds players. A base of lovers in more than 100 countries that adopt political views and the inclusive culture of rugby. Rugby Australia's president Hamish McLennan told fans on eve of Wallabies very important billiard match against Wales. Criticising the team's defeat to Fiji and losing confidence in coaches' variable leadership and election policies. He took all these rugby virtues under his feet. Eddie Jones don't all criticize Wallaby watch the match. This is like telling the Saleh Muslims not to comply with the oppressors. The headline of this story by Sydney Morning Herald was to those who criticize Rabos Wallabies. He says don't watch. It is unacceptable for a rugby Australian president to make such humiliating comments about Wallaby's ardent supporters. Any RA president who believes that justified criticism of Wallabies is somehow unacceptable is not suitable for the purpose of his job. McLennan's insult showed that the rugby community was underestimated. He acted as if it were a television competition program that needed a lead actor to put the discussions and showmanship ahead of the results. Sydney Morning Herald published a book called Wallabies World Cup organized by Greg Groudon after RWC 1991. I have written many chapters of this book, including a chapter titled From Base to Victory. This episode suggested that Wallabies won tournament because the base of the Australian rugby is World Championship. The Australian rugby community is a tribe whose roots are based on the past but are more aware of future generations. Twickenham's victory is the tribe's biggest moment so far. When McLennan commissioned Jones as Wallabies coach until the 2027 RWC tournament, told reporters, Jones himself an English and Lions series his own home. And also 2027 he said he said missed the opportunity to coach Wallabies or RWC tournament his own home. The drought brought by winning the Rugby World Cup. Journalists asked McLennan if he ac.